Tume uchaguzi nchini inatarajiwa kutoa uamuzi kuhusiana na hatma ya nyota wa soka McDonald Mariga kuhusiana na kushiriki kwake katika uchaguzi mdogo wa eneo bunge la Kibra kamati ya kutatua mizozo ya tume hiyo ilisikiza pande zote kabla ya kufanya uamuzi Mariga alikuwa amezuiliwa kushiriki katika uchaguzi huo kwa misingi kwamba hakuwa kwenye sajili ya wapiga kura hebu kwa sasa tusikilize kauli ya IBC kuhusiana na hilo under article 88 of the constitution issued a notice for a by-election in Kibra constituency to be held on 7th of November 2019 by the special, note, special issue carried in volume number 106 of Kenya Gazette published on 16th of August 2019. The commission reserved in the said Gazette notice the 9th and the 10th August 2nd September 2019 as date for registration of candidate for the by election on on the 10th September the complainant here in McDonald Nam to we radhi hitlafu hiyo ya kimitambo kutoka upande wetu uh, tulikuwa tunasikiza maelezo tu kutoka kwa mmoja wa makamishna watatu wa tume IBC akitoa uamuzi kwa niaba ya tume hiyo kuhusiana na hatma ya McDonald Mariga mambo sasa ya kushwari turejee huko IBC tuweze kusikiza uamuzi wao ni upi kuhusiana na iwapo McDonald Mariga atakuwa ni mwenye kushiriki uchaguzi wa Kibra uh, eneo bunge la Kibra ama atakuwa ni mwenye kuzuiwa uh, kwa hivyo tuelekee huko tu, tuweze kusikiza zaidi satisfied with the re, with the respondent's decision the complainant lodged the present complaint before this committee on 11th of September 2019 the parties to the complaint the complainant was nominated by the Jubilee Party of Kenya as its candidate for contest of seat of parliament for Kibra constituency in the by election selected for 7th of November 2019 respondent the respondent Beatrice Muli is a returning officer for Kibra constituency having been appointed by the commission in, in accordance with section 39A of Elections Act 2011. The first interested party, Jubilee Party of Kenya, is a political party duly registered under the Political Parties Act 2011 and has nominated the complainant to vie for Kibra constituency parliamentary seat. Leina Conchela, a duly registered voter in Kibra constituency, was admitted a second, second interested party in this proceeding on 13th of September 2019 by the notice of motion application dated 12th of September 2019. His admission to the proceeding followed the committee's ruling on his application hearing above in which he only sought according to the ground B on the face of the subject application for leave to be enjoined in proceeding as interested party on the ground that he intended to advance centrality of integrity in the electoral process and particularly in, a, in, in the Kibra by-election. The application, the, applic the application did not seek any, uh, any other substantive prayers or order. In this ruling on the application, the committee directed the second interested party to limit his, rep his representation to the matter under consideration in the complaint with a rider that any other matter not touching on the complaint should be addressed in a different forum. Consequently, paragraph 12, 13, 14, and 15 of his affidavit in support of the application were expunged from the record. The dispute. The dispute before the committee raises arises from the respondent decision of 10 September 2019 rejecting the nomination of complainant as a candidate for the forthcoming Kibra by election for the reason that the complainant data was not found in Kenya Integrated Electoral Management System, KIMS. In his complaint, dated 11 September 2019, the supportive of support, supporting affidavit sworn on the same date Complainant avers that the respondent's decision was improper, null, and void for want of unlawful, for want of lawful invalidation, since the complainant is a registered voter. Complainant, 
Father Asad that he was registered as a voter on 26th of August 2019 at Karyoko Social Hall, polling station in Stare constituency, and was issued with an acknowledgement slip bearing electorate number 0145211908261205-1 it is his contention that he met all the requirements of the nomination as was confirmed by the first interested party in his replying affidavit sworn by Andrew Musangi on the 13th September 2019. On the account of foregoing, he prays at paragraph 7 of his complaint that, his, that this committee should make a finding that the decision of the respondent is void and, and of no legal effect and that it be determined that the complainant was validly nominated by a political party that is Jubilee Party of Kenya and his nominated nomination affirmed by the issuance of certificate of nomination by the commission for the position of member of <coughs> Kibra constituency the jurisdiction of this committee the jurisdiction to hear and determine dispute relating to relating to or arising out of nomination is, de is donated to the Commission by Article 88, sub Article 4E of the Constitution, Section 74 of Elections Act, Regulation 99 of the Election General Regulation 2012, as well as the rules of procedure and settlement of dispute, and settlement of dispute. To this end, Article 88.4 E of the Constitution provides that the Commission is responsible for conducting or supervising referenda and election to any elective body or office established by this Constitution and any other elections as prescribed by the Act of Parliament and in particular Section Sabbatical E state that settlement of election dispute including dispute relating to or arising from nomination but excluding election petitions and dispute subsequent to the election declaration of election result the above provision is replicated under section 74 of elections act and section 4 of independent electoral and boundaries commission act 2011 which outlines outline the function of the commission thus pursuant to article 88 subsection sub article 4e of the constitution the commission shall be responsible for settlement of election dispute including dispute relating to or arising from nomination but exclude election dispute election petitions and dispute subsequent to the declaration of election result under rule 2 of the settlement of elect electoral dispute rules the term dispute has been defined as a complaint, challenge, claim, or contest relating to any uh, on, on any to, 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 sorry to any stage of the electoral process includes an, an objection to the acceptance of nomination papers of a candidate by a returning officer. The purview of the complaint under Rule 9 extends to the complaints relating to whether the candidate has all qualifications required under the law under any law in the case of diana kedi kilonzo and others versus ibc and 10 others the court stated at paragraph 94 of the judgment that a reading of article 88 4 e of the current constitution and section 74 of the act clearly shows that IBC has powers to settle dispute, including nomination no, nomination dispute, other than election dispute, dispute arising and dispute arising or subsequent to declaration of result. The mandate to settle dispute therefore runs up to the election date. The committee hence had jurisdiction to hear complaint of the interested parties. Guided by the above provision of the law, we are satisfied that the, the committee has jurisdiction to determine the present dispute. We now proceed to consider laws applicable to the resolution of the dispute. The applicable laws. Article 38.1 of the Constitution guarantees the right of every person to exercise their 
their political right, which includes the right to a to form or participate in forming a political party, b to participate in activities of or recruit members for a political party, or to campaign for a political party or or cause. Additionally, 382 provides that every citizen has the right to free, fair, and regular election based on an, based on universal suffrage and free expression of the will of elect of electors for any elective public body or office established under this constitution, or any office of any political party of which the citizen is a member. In order to exercise the right. It is the right of every person to be registered as a voter or to buy for a public or political office that under, under Article 38.3 of the Constitution, every citizen has the right without unreasonable restriction. A. To be a registered voter. B. To vote by a secret ballot in any election or referendum. C. To be a candidate for a public office or office within political party of which the citizen is a member and if elected to hold office. The right to participate in electoral process, either as a voter or as a candidate, connotes the basic element of democracy. Justice Mativo, in the case of Ekuro Court versus IBC and three others in 2017, that expressed himself as follows. At paragraph 82, he quoted Article 38 of the Constitution and stated it guarantees political right, which include the right to be a candidate for public office. Undoubtedly, the right created under Article 38 in favor of citizens of Kenya to participate in electoral process is integral part, and for the sake of convenience, he called it an element of the basic feature of democracy. In paragraph 83 of his ruling, he stated there are two important points to note. First is that the right to, part to participation in electoral process, which will include both voting and standing for election, is part of the basic structure of democratic state, which will mean that restriction upon participation in electoral process can only be justified through a very strong reason and in a way that the core of the basic feature of democracy is not damaged. Secondly, even more importantly, while the right under Article 38 and Article 27 of the Constitution are not, are not absolute right, they cannot be limited except by law, and then only to the extent that limitation is reasonable, justifiable in an open democratic society. Any limitation must be subject to three part test. A, a limitation will only be accepted when prescribed by law. B, when it is necessary and proportionate. C, when the limitation pursues a legitimate aim, namely the interest of the national security, public safety, prevention of disorder or crime, protection of health and morals, and protection of right and freedom of others. The principles for conducting elections are set out under the one of the Constitution. They include freedom of citizens to exercise their political right under Article 38, and universal suffrage based on aspiration of fair representation and equality of vote. The qualifications for one to be registered as a voter are outlined under Article 83.1, which stipulates that one, a person qualifies for registration as a voter at election or referenda if A is an adult citizen, is declared is not declared to be of unsound mind, has not been convicted of an election offense during preceding five years, and two, a citizen who qualifies for registration as a voter shall be registered only at one registration center. Article 83.3 further provides that administrative arrangement for registration of voters and conduct of election 
shall be designed to facilitate and not deny an eligible citizen the right to vote or stand for an election. Commission is obligated under Article 88.4a of the Constitution and Section 4a of IBC Act to conduct continuous registration of citizens as voters to undertake and to undertake regular provision of voters' role. Section 2 of Elections Act defines register of voters as a current register of persons entitled to vote at an election prepared in accordance with the Section 3 and includes a register that is compiled electronically. It is duty of the Commission to establish register of voters which under Section 4 of the Election Act comprises of a. A register, a poll register in respect of every polling station, a ward register in respect of every ward, a constituency register in respect of every constituency, a county register in respect of every county, a register of voters residing outside Kenya. Whereas Article 84A of the Constitution as read together with Section 4A of IBC Act requires the Commission to conduct continuous registration of voters, there is a limitation imposed by Section 5 of the Elections Act, which provides that 1. Registration of voters and revision of register of voters under this Act shall be carried out at all times except A. In accordance in the case of a general election or elections under, under Article 138.5 of the Constitution between the date of commencement of 60-day period immediately before the election and date of such election. B. In case of a by-election between the date of declaration of vacancy of the seat concerned and the date of the by-election. Any citizen of Kenya who has attained the age of registration and the age of 18 years, as evidenced by either national identity card or Kenyan passport, whose name is not in the register of voters, shall be registered as a voter upon application in prescribed manner by the Commission. All applications for registration under this section shall be registered inappropriate register by the registration officer or any other officer authorized by the commission. Reg the registration officer or other authorized officers referred to in subsection 3 shall at such times as the commission may direct transmit the information relating to the re registration of the voters in the, to the commission for inclusion of for the inclusion in the register of voters. By dint of Section 8 of Elections Act, the Commission is under obligation to maintain an updated register for this purpose. A further obligation is placed on the Commission to regularly revise the register of voters. The process of registration of voters is provided under Elections Registration of Voters Regulation 2012 and Election General Regulation 2012 which were promulgated first one to section 109 of the Elections Act. Regulation 13 of, of, of the voter regis registration regulation provides that in respect of the first time applicant, a, a person who de desires to be registered as a voter shall make an application in form A set out in the schedule. An application under sub-regulation 1 shall be made in, to the registration officer for the constituency in which the person wishes to be registered. The application for registration as a voter may be made at any time except on the occasions provided under regulation 15, namely during the time in which registration of voters and revision of register is not allowed as provided under section 5 of Elections Act and during period in which the Commission has suspended ap applications by way of notice published in Kenya Gazette, as was done by the Commission in respect of Kibra constituency via the Special Notice Gazette, a special issue, 
Gazette notice carried in volume 106 published on 16th of August 2019. Regarding the process of regula registration, Regulation 13A of the Voter Regulation provides as follows. One, a person who applies to be registered as a voter shall present his or her identification document to the registration officer stationed at registration center of his or her choice. Two, registration officer, officer shall, where applicant is qualified to be registered as a voter, issue applicant with form A as set out in the schedule. The applicant shall return the duly completed form A to the registration officer and the registration officer shall confirm the details in the form and enter them in the biometric voter registration system and the voter's record book. The applicant shall be issued with an acknowledgement slip upon registration. Under Regulation 16.1 of Voter Regulations, the registration officer to whom an application is made under Regulation 13 or 14 shall consider application and A. In the case of an applica application for registration under regula Regulation 13, register the applicant if registration officer is satisfied that the, that the applicant is qualified to be registered. If the registration officer registers a person or makes a changes in the sub-regulation, one, the registration officer shall issue an acknowledgement slip to the applicant. Our understanding of the above cited regulation is that a person is only issued with acknowledgement slip after conclusion of registration process, in which case the registration officer must be satisfied that the person has met the re requirement of, re of registration stipulated under Article 83 of the Constitution. Even though there is no express provision on the re registration of voters, a reading of Section 9 of Election Act and Article 99.2 of the Constitution presupposes that once a person has been declared to be unsound mind, is adjudged bankrupt, or is con convicted of an election offence, then the person is disqualified from being a, reg a registered voter. Then the question is, what happens if a registered voter is, dis is subsequently declared to be of unsound mind? is adjudged bankrupt or convicted of an election offence. Within the meaning of Article 88 one of the Constitution, they are not entitled to be registered as a voter or remain on the register of voters. Even, even then, disqualification of a voter cannot be whimsical and must be on the, prom on the premise of ground and procedure set out in Section 9 of, of Election Act, which is reproduced here below, whereas a person, where a person has been adjudged or declared to be of unsound mind, adjudged bankrupt, or convicted of an election offence, and is thereby disqualified by being from being registered from being registered as a voter, then. If that person is entitled to appeal against decision that that person shall not be disqualified from being a registered from being so registered until the expiration of the 30 days after the date of decision or such further period as the commission may at request of the person direct in order to enable the person appeal against the decision. In so far as ineligibility of person to vote as a member of parliament is concerned, Article 99.1 of the Constitution is stipulated in Talia that once one must be must be a registered voter who is defined under Section 2 of Election Act as a person whose name is included in current register of voters. The same provision has been replicated under Section 24 of Election Act. On the qualification does unless disqualified under section 2 a person qualifies for nomination as a member of parliament if the person is a registered voter having having set down the law which we consider to be relevant we now turn to the sub submissions which were made 
by parties in their support of the arrival position.